Google announces the Google Assistant SDK with Google Home level functionality and conversational speech recognition on the Raspberry Pi. Welcome back to Mikey's Lab. If it's your first time here, you might want to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below to ensure that you get the latest news from the lab on science, DIY, and the latest in maker technology. In this video, we're talking about Google's announcement of the launch of the Google Assistant SDK and the beginnings of the image that are being published for the Raspberry Pi 3. We're going to talk about what this means and how we will use it in the future in one of our projects. So lab code up, we're going to learn something today. Okay, we're going to just drop to the desktop here and take a look at the announcement of the Google SDK. Um, it says, the purpose of the SDK is to allow us to embed the Google Assistant into any device. The Google Assistant is very much like Amazon Alexia. One of the biggest advantages of the Google Assistant over Amazon Alexia is the conversational speech recognition. What this means is you could ask where Niagara Falls is in Canada and then ask how high are the falls. And Google will understand that you still mean that you're talking about Niagara Falls. It's kind of an interesting and it seems like a small thing, but when you're trying to interact with a device, having a level of a conversation with a device, the way that you would have with one of your friends, allows interactions with the Google Assistant to be much more natural and much more flowing. Uh, if we look at the actual publication that they put out, right, it is being made today for everyone interested in tinkering with platforms such as the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, later this year it will be, uh, be available for more commercial platforms, but we're really interested in the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, we will take a look at the actual image and we will start prototyping. I just wanted to get this video out there to, to let everybody know what is going on and how excited I actually am about this. We have a project in the works uh, that this will be perfect for. We are going to be working on what's known as a magic mirror. Uh, normally when it's just not active it looks exactly like a mirror. When you walk in front of it it starts showing you statistics that you choose. Whether it be the weather, whether it be news, whether it be your schedule, whether it be recent text messages, however you want you want that to work. We're obviously going to push this one step further because that's what we do on the lab. We don't mimic other people's projects. We expand upon them and push the open source hardware envelope that way. So we're going to embed Google Assistant into a magic mirror. Um, I don't know when this project's going to start. I got to get the 8x8x8 LED cube out of the way first and that series on immunology that I've promised all of you guys. Uh, those two will come first and then we'll start on the Magic Mirror project. I do have the majority of the parts already for this project so I'm hoping in the near future that, uh, that it comes up maybe a couple of weeks from now. Right now the, the, the number one language that they, they mention right off the bat for, for working with a Raspberry Pi with the Google Assistant as you can see on this, uh, on this screen is Python. Python is a fairly simplistic programming language. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to go the route of Python or if we're, we're going to use the, the, the native C++ and Linux for, for integration that way. I'll have to take a look at the API. I will get back to you with more details. I will be playing with this uh, th this weekend for sure. So we are definitely going to have some more content and some more projects based on this technology. But I just couldn't, I, I was too excited not to post about this right now. So let me know what you plan to use the Google Assistant SDK for in the comments below. Right? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a sarcastic thumbs up. And tell me why in the, in the comments below. As I mentioned before, go ahead and subscribe. You can get the latest information on this. Be notified when I post new projects. And maybe check back for the Magic, uh, for the Magic Mirror project. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the lab. And I hope you learned something today.